YouTube. So I've been watching several people's videos related to the 100 book challenge. And it's my first time participating this year. And I started about a week early. It officially started November 6th. And I started like late October. And I started day one by looking through my shelves and seeing what books that I um, can get digitally instead and just get rid of those. Because I, I, for me, for my purpose of doing this challenge, I am reading the books or I am unhauling them and I'm counting that whole total. And so as of today, I am at 55 books either that I've read or I am unhauling. And um, I, was, I was watching a couple people's videos talking about like the number of books you have unread on your shelves. And so that got me to wondering. And so I thought, you know, if I had to guess, I would say around 150. Because um, I have three bookcases and several of the shelves are empty because over the summer I was doing quite a bit of unhauling. But no, when I actually sat down to count the books I have unread on my shelves, I have 326. <laughs> and so I thought I would um, talk about my journey of how I got to this point. Um, for me, comfort wise, I feel like around 25 books, unread books, is what I would feel comfortable with. 326 it, it is way too many for me, even though for me, I could read those books in a year and probably most likely still have time left in a year. But I know that's not everyone. Um, but even still, that is too much for me, even being a, a fast reader. And um, but yeah, when I moved here to Portland back in the fall of 2020, I owned maybe 10 books and maybe one or two was unread. Uh, and so like I've, I've like ebbed and flowed with owning physical books versus digital books. Like sometimes I've gone gung ho on digital and other times I've done a mix or all physical books. But uh, when I started this channel back in 2018, I believe is when I started, I owned zero, <laughs> zero books. And so, uh, yeah, I didn't have any, you know, qualms or guilt because I also with um, eBooks, I don't purchase them almost ever. Um, they're all through my library. So it doesn't matter, you know, what, what's on there kind of deal. Uh, but but moving here to Portland, I am constantly bombarded, I feel like, with options for bringing books into the house. There is um, library, like ongoing library book sales, like, you know, in books, library bookstores. There is library book sales, Powell's, the biggest bookstore in the world, and a couple of different branches. <laughs> and there are, you know, other independent and used bookstores and Barnes and Noble and thrift stores and little free libraries. So um, on any given day, it's, it's easy for me to acquire books. I, and I almost never buy books online either because I have all, all these options. And so um, I started with buying one bookcase and, and I filled it up pretty quickly. And then I got two others. So I'm now at, at three. And um, it started with, you know, going to Powell's and, you know, I had to check that out, of course. And so I don't know, I, maybe at, at the first couple of months I, I might have bought in like 20 or 30 books or so I don't know and then you're going to library book sales and but then with all of that and when I read those books I you know take them to most of the time I'll take them you know see if I can get credit for them and if I can't then I'll drop them off at little free libraries and the little free libraries I feel like is one of my downfalls because in my little area here there's probably 20 little free libraries within walking within like 20 minutes and you know in any direction so like on on any given day on, on a walk I can you know easily walk by one of those and I can't pass those things up <laughs> so um but a lot of the books I own it's not for me the guilt part isn't the um monetary investment in these because I haven't put much money into them like if I was gonna think about how much money I um sp spend each month before starting this challenge like may maybe ten dollars because I am all for sales and um, or you know using store credit and um, and then <laughs> they get a little free library kind of thing, but it, but often I'm trading those books. So like uh, like right here, I have all of these books um, on this tower right here are all going to go to little free libraries, and I just need to I just need to chuck them in there and, and not pick anything. Of course, right now I'm for me for the for my take on the hundred book challenge. I'm including a little free library books because I know that's one of my um, downfalls of, of, you know, bringing books in. So um, I'm not, I, I can't look at those kind of thing. <laughs> um, so I've just been, I've just been hanging out while, um, while I, you know, go through this challenge of, you know, going through the hundred books. But I just wondered how, um, you know, what, what your journey is with acquiring books. Like, you know, where, where are you standing with how many books you have unread on your shelves? And are you comfortable with that number? And, um, yeah, how did you, how did you get there kind of thing? Cause like for me, I feel like 
coming to 326 books after unhauling so many in the summer and after reading, you know, a lot of these books throughout the years that I've been in Portland, still having that amount is it's insane. <laughs> it's insane to me. Um, for example, I was looking through, um, when I was accounting for all these books, I have 14 unread children, children's picture books. That's insane. I should have maybe one or two. Like there's no reason I should get, get these books and then set them on my shelf. I should read them right away, which drives me crazy. Like one of the reasons I wanted to do this challenge is because I want to get to the point where I buy some books, bring them here, put them on like one of the, my empty shelves and then read them. And then, and then either keep them or put them, uh, you know, keep them or get them out the door kind of deal. And so, so yeah, that's been, that's been bothering me quite a bit. So I am going to continue on with this challenge, but yeah, I just wanted to get, um, you know, talk about my journey with it and, you know, get some of um, your input on, on your thoughts with this. But anyway, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks book two.